So it's been six years since the, the Sopranos ended. I mean, do people still come up to you and talk to you about the show? Every single day. Really? Literally every single day. Sometimes they, they mistake you that you're a mob guy. You know, so... <laughs> and they say, uh, I have something I need you to do. Well, there's sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Or they tell you about their nephew in jail. Or uh, one day I was bringing my dirty laundry, you know, uh, going to the dry cleaners. And I had a big thing of laundry. And guy stops me and says, Steve, you know, I love the show, but... I watched it last night. Anyone who ever whacked anyone knows that's not how you do it. <laughs> and I went, all right, listen, I got to get going. I'll see you. So they, nice they mix it up a you. little bit. Yeah. And I know you do a lot of cameos, and you've been doing, obviously, continuing your acting career. And you were actually on Cedric and Nisi's show, right? Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. that fun? Oh, they're great. Cedric, Nisi, two of the finest comics. Funny. We had a great time. I just saw them backstage, and uh, they, they are a lot of fun. The show's great. Yeah. And I play... A, I think I played a preacher slash mobster, if you can believe <laughs> Just Somehow. can't shake that tight yeah, casting. Right. But right. you were also just wrapped up The Secret Life of an American Teenager. Secret Team. Life of an American Teenager on ABC Family. And uh, he was, I played a guy, Leo. Uh, he was a father of a 16 year old kid who was the most patient father that you ever saw. He was the most understanding guy. His son got a girl pregnant. His son got married. This is 16. His son burnt down the school, got thrown out of school. And he was the most patient guy. He's nothing like me. <laughs> that was a stretch. That was a stretch. <laughs> and in fact, Steve has just written a book called Big Daddy's Rules, Raising Daughters is Tougher Than I Look, which is great. And uh, congratulations thank you. on thank that. You, thank you. I did a little blurb on yes. it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So tell me, why did you, why did you decide to write this book? You know, I, I wrote the book seriously. It's kind of a love letter to my daughters because I yell and I scream and I'm <laughs> on their back constantly, you know, and I wanted to let them know how I really feel about them, and, and I did in the book. And oh, look at them. They're so They're cute. 17 and 21, you know, and they're, they're really They're the exact good same kids. ages as my daughters. Oh, really, yeah. And you tell a funny story in the book of, uh, when you were at a restaurant and uh, there was a guy there, a guy about your age, checking yeah. out your daughter's. So uh, I'm in a restaurant in the village, and uh, uh, a quiet, small restaurant. There's a big mouth. You know, you go to these restaurants, they don't shut up. They're ruining everyone's day. The guy's ruining oh, everyone's day. Oh, I hate that. Day. He's a big mouth. <laughs> so I'm aggravated, and I said, give me the check, and I want to get out of here. You know, we finished dinner, and my daughter's 16 at the time, and the guys were two other guys, and he, she walks past him, and he turns, not a glance, I mean a, a turn, and he looks at her butt. Looks at my daughter's butt, and I'm watching the whole thing. And I just explode, you know? So <laughs> I go up to him, and I don't, I'm, don't usually do this kind of stuff. And I start screaming at him. You could hear a pin drop in the restaurant. It was the greatest thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you hear a pin drop, right? And, and, and so I say, I'm so mad, you know? And I say, come on, the three of you, outside now. And look, I'm fat, I'm old, I'm not beating nobody up, you know? And, and my wife and kids are in the car. I said, get in the cab, you know? And they know me, you know? So I'm waiting for the guys to come out, and they don't get in the cab, and they're waiting on the curb, and the guys don't come out, and we all leave. And my daughter says, Dad, another relaxing night with Steve Sharippa. <laughs>